go. We haven't seen a whole lot in the way of uh, anything new on the transponder front in a while, but it seems that you've uh, got a couple of candidates for what's new at AEA 2009. Correct. Uh, Southeast Aerospace is the North American distributor for Trig Avionics, which is a UK-based uh, manufacturer. They've been making their TT31 over in Europe for about three years. Recently was TSO'd and now available in the U.S. market. Probably the most attractive feature of the TT31 is that it's a MODES direct replacement for the KT76A and KT76C, and it's a solid state transponder as well. Now, is that a drop-in replacement? It is, correct. It's a multi-voltage unit, 11 through 33 volts, so the dropping resistor is no longer needed as well for, for the KT76A installations. We've not heard a whole lot of, uh, about TRIG on this side of the ocean at this point. Uh, what else do they do? Right now, these are the only two products they make. They focused on the uh, transponder market for the MODES requirements over in Europe, but they are um, on the cutting edge as far as the ADS-B technology as well. Probably see a lot more products with their name associated with some other manufacturers in relation to the ADS-B technology. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. What part of the market is this product destined for? Currently, I would say this is for the general aviation market, and their TT21 transponder, which is a remote mount mode S system, uh, currently is just a class two transponder meant for the experimental home built uh, glider market. Total system weight is less than a pound and actually has a built in encoder into the control as well. Uh, they do have plans to come out with a class one version for certified aircraft sometime, uh, probably later this year, or the beginning of next year. Well, certainly a tiny little unit, and uh, for those of us with some really tight cockpits and exper some experimental installations. It looks like it could solve quite a bit of our panel issues. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, meant to fit in a two and a quarter inch hole. Like I said earlier, they do have plans to possibly come out with a three inch version as well or some other versions of that control. But it is very small, very tiny, very compact um, and easy to install as well. How about uh, warranty and support? Well, they currently have a three-year warranty. Southeast Aerospace will be handling all of the technical support for them in North America. Currently, we're offering, uh, for any warranty situations or anything, just basically replacements. We've sold probably about 20 of these already and haven't had any warranty claims, returns, or anything like that. But we will be handling all the service and support for it as well. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online audio and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio and video programs every year. Only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. And price and availability on both units? TT31 is in stock, currently available. We're offering it uh, to shops for under $2,000. The retail price of it is about $2,300 U.S. Uh, TT21 is not available yet, still in the TSO process. Probably will be available in about 30 to 60 days. Um, and that's under $2,000 as well. Uh, what about Southeast Aerospace? Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Well, Southeast Aerospace is a full service, uh, sales and service, avionic sales and service company. Uh, we combine the three uh, avionic sales exchanges. We have a fairly large repair station where we cover the whole gamut of general aviation and corporate avionics. And we do installations. We have a fairly large installation and engineering department as well. And you're located where? We are in Melbourne, Florida, which is in central Florida, about 45 minutes east of Orlando. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.